How you doing, Manginas? Angry Toddler here, bringing you guys TDM on Nuketown, and then another gameplay on Nuketown. And these are old gameplays from my old computer, so I figured I might as well show it to you guys. But welcome to Girlfriends episode number five. Mambo number five. And anyway, so last time we left off, we were talking about my stalker with Down syndrome. And a lot of you guys were like, oh, let's see a picture of Casey. And I will try to see if I can find one, maybe on Facebook somewhere, but I don't have one. I know I used to on an old, old phone of mine, like eight year, like six years old phone. And um, because she was standing like outside of my friend's locker when I was like talking to her, my friend at her locker. And uh, so to try to lighten the mood because she was pissed at me for who God knows what. But I took a picture. I was like, here, Casey, pose. Not naked. Uh, she had clothes on. I told her to pose with clothes on. So she did some Egyptian little pose. It was, I don't know what was going on. But I had it for the longest time because I had to show my hockey friends the stories. Because they like I told all these stories. They wanted to see a picture as well. So I'll see if I can find a picture. No guarantees. I feel like it would be kind of mean of me to also post their, her picture online. Because, I don't know. Like, I know you guys want to see faces with uh, with these stories. It's just hard with me. It's just hard for me because I think I need permission to get pictures from them. And I don't want to tell any of my ex-girlfriends that I'm talking about them on YouTube. So, <laughs> so but we'll see. Maybe. Uh, maybe at the end I'll figure it out and add some pictures. So, now we're going to talk about two years too long, as I like to call her. Her name was Ashley. And I about said her last name, probably shouldn't. But her name was Ashley. Um, Skankasaurus Rex is what we call her sometimes. I think I just might have made that up right now. Um, but I dated her probably for three years. Not straight, because two years too long was, was I dated her two years straight without breaking up. But anyways, okay, off to the real stories. But her, her, this, whoa, I look like, that was kind of weird. Her, her, uh, I was like a dying dog. But... Um, this girl, she probably changed me more than anybody did. And I don't even mean, her, like, she made me change the, for who I was. I just think I started growing up during this. I realized that I need to get out of this relationship. And, um, I took a whole another view and approach, um, on life and girlfriends after this whole relationship debacle. And, um, I really only remember the bad times. I know at the beginning of our relationship, me and this girl, Ashley... It was, it was alright. I remember it was my first girlfriend. And right here you see me spam clicking this chopper gunner. That was because me and my roommate were racing to see who can get our chopper gunner up. And he beat me to it like a little douche. But I'll forgive him one day. Um, okay, can I just get to the fucking story? I haven't, I've yet to talk about two years too long yet. So, this girl, I met her through a friend I, that I actually liked at the time. Her name was Elise. And she was, uh, Elise was Ashley's friend. So, I don't even remember how we started dating. I just know somehow we did start dating. And, um, I had never had a first kiss, like a make-out kiss, like a make-out smooch. Hadn't had one yet. I, I got kissed on the cheek before, and I kissed a girl on the lips, but it wasn't make-out. And it was only a dare. As a little kid, I kissed a girl on the lips. I don't think that counts as a first kiss. But, anywho, um, I started dating this girl, and I should have known it was bad news right away, because she always fucking cried. I mean, this is the most dramatic girl I've ever met, um... And I, I'm, I won't be able to tell stories all in uh, events of throughout the years. I think I'm just going to have to say random stories because I tried to. I think I tried to push these memories out of my mind. I, I just want to forget about her. But, okay, so here's one story for sure. Um, this is the main story. And, well, her, she hated when I hang out with girls. She always thought I was going to cheat on her, and she was just really, like, um, paranoid about it. But first, anyways, she actually cheated on me within I think four five months of us starting dating and it was this kid his name was Trey huge douchebag I cannot stand and we didn't like each other and what happened was supposedly this is supposedly from her account she like called me the next day and crying I think that was the only reason I forgave her because she told me right away and she was just bawling and I don't like listening to girls cry um first of all it's annoying and then at the time I was kind of a um I was kind of what I'm looking for kind of whipped I would say it not not totally whipped but I, I kind of was I was pretty young and new with girls so I was kind of whipped and so um yeah so what happened was I guess she was talking to Trey and invited him over to her place and he brought beer and they drank and they made out and so I was just like are you fucking kidding like I was pissed 
and I forgave her. But then she kept talking to him. And this is when I know this is when I should have known. It's like, holy shit, this is bad. I should I need to dump this bitch right away. But what did I do? I kept dating her and I kept trying to make it work. Cause what she did was kept talking to him and I'm like, what the fuck you doing? And this is a girl, like I swear to god, I've never met somebody like this girl before. Can you tell I'm getting pissed of saying these stories? I'm getting enraged by just talking about her. But uh this girl, she just does not get it. She does not get anything with her brain. She just thinks, I don't know, man. She's just retarded. Not, not like, actually. And I don't mean to use that word badly like that. But, I mean, this girl, Casey was smarter than this girl. And so, um, yeah, so she kept talking to him. And I'm like, hey, you need to stop talking to him or it's just not going to work between us because I don't trust you and you need to build my trust back. So then what'd she do? Changed his name in her phone, and I figured it out. I got her phone, I checked it out, and I'm not ashamed to say that because I didn't trust her and I knew I shouldn't have. So we had a little bit falling out for a little bit, and after working it out, she finally stopped talking to him, supposedly. But he kept like can't coming to my hockey games then to try to fuck with me um, because he uh, knew that I didn't like him and I knew about this, so he was trying to start a fight. He told me he was gonna jump me in French class, and I was like, dude, I was like. If you're gonna fight me, how about you don't fight me in French class? And 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 first of all, to jump me, so obviously you don't think you can beat me up without having an unfair advantage. So uh, and the fight never happened, but we never liked each other. We made sure to give each other looks in the uh, hallway. But um, so anyways, she didn't trust me, even though she was the one that cheated on me. And so what happened was um, there's this girl. Her name was Jessica, and she was. And she's from Grinnell, which is about an hour away from where I lived. And I met her, sadly, through MySpace. This is this is back in the MySpace days. So I met her through MySpace, and I think I might have had a mutual friend as well. I don't remember. But anyway, so I started talking to this girl, and uh, Jessica, was, she was kind of cute. She had huge titties. And so um, uh, I started talking to her. And she wrote on my MySpace wall, You remind me of the song Umbrella. Do you remember that song by Rihanna? It's just like, when I'm sad you're my umbrella like I basically chew you up and all that jazz and so Ashley saw that because Ashley just stalked my MySpace profile Ashley wanted the password to my MySpace profile she literally was like she asked me she's like can I have your MySpace password I'm like no she's I was like can I have yours she's like no then I was I told her I was like why would I give you mine then and she's like because I think you're hiding something from me she's like are you is that why you won't give me the password this was the type of girl she was she would turn everything into me doing something bad and I was probably the best boyfriend for her possible and ever I'm probably the best boyfriend she will ever have because she's so fucking uh, crazy she is a psycho so anyways um <laughs> I keep stopping and just talking shit of bad shit about this girl but this Jessica girl and finally I was like you know what I want to hang out with her and I kind of I have to admit I did like her I kind of had a crush on Jessica and I went 16 and 1 on that search and that shotgun gameplay, I think I went 37-3. So I'll continue the Ashley story next time.